Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James and welcome back to The Soundline. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually not in the shop today, we're in a house which has been fully fitted off with a system that we'd like to show you and talk a little bit about. We're talking to you today about Lutron RA2 Select. So Lutron is primarily known as a premium home automation company. They focus primarily on lights, drapes and shades, but will also integrate with other third party internet based products. So first a little bit about Lutron as a company. So they're an American based company, they were founded in 1961 and they invented the world's first solid state dimmer for lights. Um, so yeah, they got a patent on it, they know what they're talking about. Their products are really high quality, we never have any issues with them. It's why it's one of our favorite brands to sell. So RA2 Select is Lutron's retrofittable lighting control system that you can put into pretty much any home. So this house was built in 2014, It was this system was fitted off, you know, roughly about a year ago and it's had no issues ever since and it was very, very easy to install. That's another reason we like it so much. You can, you can put it anywhere and it's very easy to use, very easy to set up. And so I've got some products here in front of me. I'm just gonna quickly run over what they are, how they communicate with each other, how they work, and then following on from that, we'll talk some more about the features and some of the powerful things you can do with the system. So the main thing about the system that we have here in front of me this here is an inline dimmer. This device gets installed here. The wire gets cut, you have the input side going to the input of the dimmer, and the output side obviously going to the driver for the LED. Same thing if it was a switch. And then this gets wirelessly communicated to by a variety of devices so that we can tell the lights to go on, off, up, down, or whatever we want to do with them. The main thing you're gonna be turning your lights on and off with is keypads. So these can be wall mounted, um, single keypad, bank of two, three or four, or you can have them on these nice pedestals. They work really well and they are actually battery powered which is cool because A it means you can have them on these pedestals on your coffee table or wherever and it also means you can put them wherever you want in your home. You're not limited to the existing light switch locations that were previously installed by your electrician. So to give you an example, I just hit this button here. It immediately turns on if I hold the down button it's going to dim down. I probably have a lot of upwash right now. <laughs> so this communicates to this driver with radio waves. It's a very specific frequency that is again determined by Lutron. It doesn't interfere with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or cell signal or anything like that. And it's completely discreet as well. It's not like hackable. It's not like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi where you could dial into it and control things. It's just a completely discreet code and it's one-way communication. There is also sensors and they work the same way, communicates on that radio wave frequency. Again, battery powered, so these things can be mounted anywhere in the home. They are really, really fast. This is why we love using these in all of our um, Lutron systems. Compared to your standard electrician's uh, light sensor, these are lightning quick. They will pick you up as soon as you walk in the room. Also, I should say that the batteries in these two devices here are rated to last you know, somewhere between eight and 10 years depending on how much you use them. So it's actually a really, really long time and they, like, the keypads do just take a tiny wee cell battery which are very cheap to replace when you do have to. So the final piece of equipment you would typically have in your system um, is the RA2 Select processor. What this device does is this gives you all of the network based functionality. Things like being able to control the lights from the Lutron app or from Apple HomeKit being able to control it with Siri or Alexa, or also being able to use location-based um, control where if you know you want the lights to turn, all the lights to turn on when you arrive home, it uses your location to do that, but obviously that's a service that comes through the internet, and that's where this comes in. I should say, you don't actually need this for the system to work. You, you use this in the system when you're first programming it and telling the keypads and the sensors what you want them to do when they're hit or activated, but then the cool thing about the system is, let's say your internet goes down, or this little power supply um, dies or is unplugged or something like that. Without this, this system will completely continue to work because of that radio uh, based one way communication. To give you an example, this light system that I've got here is actually the one from our shop at work. This is the brain I'm holding here in my hand 
and the lights still work. So now that we've sort of talked about the base components of the system guys, we're going to move on to showing you in detail some of the cool things you can do with this and also a closer look at how some of like things like the keypads and the sensors work. So for keypads, there is a wide variety of keypads that you can get with different engravings on them that do different things and bear in mind you can also get custom engraved keypads with writing on them so you can have them do whatever you want. But for now I'm just going to talk to you about the two sort of main categories. The first category is this type here which typically have a bright looking light bulb and a dim one down the bottom and then they may have some up down buttons and a preset one in the middle. These ones are primarily designed for turning on one or more circuits of light and that's about it. You can turn them on, off, up, down and in the case of this one here with the circle in the middle there is a preset so I can have that set to do 50% for instance and I can just hit that and go. The other main category of keypad is what's called a scene keypad. I've got an example of one here on my left. These ones can be programmed to do whatever you want. I can hit one button and have it turn on heaps of different circuits of light as well as turn some circuits of lights off and start things like music playing from a Sonos speaker for instance. So they're a lot more programmable and you can also go in and reprogram them later down the track with homeowner edit. So if I hit this one here at the top, very simple, just turns all the lights on. And if I want to dim it down a bit, make it a bit more atmospheric, hit the TV button here, it dims the lights down to 20%, makes the room a bit more nice for watching TV. And if I want to reprogram that so that it makes the lights a bit lower or a little bit higher, I can do that whenever I want. So one of the cool things about the system is it does come with a free app that will allow you to control your lights just about from anywhere. It'll allow you to turn them on, turn them off, turn them up, down, whatever level you want to set them to. And the cool thing about it is it is hosted from a really secure server that is owned by Lutron. So that is what allows you to dial into this system from anywhere in the world. You don't have to be at home on your Wi-Fi network. So you can see here I've got my app open and I've got my favorite devices at the top, which I use quite a lot. Um, and then if I go down a little bit further you can see I've got my different rooms. I've got my entry, my kitchen, dining etc. And if I go into any of these I can tap on this light here, the kitchen island pendants, and I can turn them on or off. Or I can go into the kitchen main lights and from here I can turn them up and down. You've also got your keypads and your sensors showing up in this app. So for instance the keypad that's here in the kitchen, which you can see here on screen, has got the all on button, the cooking, the dining and the all off button. If I click on any of these buttons here, it's actually going to simulate me having pressed that button. So if I hit all off, it turns off all the lights. If I hit all on, it's going to turn them all back on. There is also a button down here at the bottom called edit device. This is probably one of my favorite features about this whole system. You can change the programming yourself of any of these keypads and sensors really easily at any time. So if I click on edit device, it brings up the four buttons. It also has the name of the keypad if you want to name it. Um, let's say I go into dining here. So currently if I hit the dining button, I've, put, I've set up a very specific scene here where I want every light in this room to be off except for the dining lights and have them set down to a nice low moody light to make it more intimate. So I've got the entry light to set off, the kitchen lights, uh, the pendants are set off, the main lights are set to 5% just to provide enough light so that if we want to go back and get seconds we can. The dining lights are set to 20%, the living room lights ahead of me here are set to 5% just so we can sort of see what we're doing. And then if I want to add in any more of these lights, I can do so. Or I can just go into the dining room lights here, I can change it and say maybe I want them to be actually at 23%. And I can also change over what period of time, so I can have it do it over, let's do it for 15 seconds, I click save, and then I click done and that is done. It is now gonna upload those, that information to that keypad, and that keypad is now gonna do that exact scene when I hit it. So now if I go over here and I hit the dining button, and turn these lights off, these ones here have dimmed down for 15 seconds, which is very slow, so quite hard to see. But there we go, now the, those ones are on 5%, these ones are on 5%, and these dining room lights are at a nice, moody 15% but ultimately it provides more atmosphere for the room and you know makes things feel a bit nicer when you're using your home. 
So that was the main page you get, the devices page. If I move over here to the middle tab and I click, and I click on scenes, you can see I've got some scenes already set up here and you can add one really easily. So for example, these are kind of the same as a button on a scene keypad. If I hit any one of these buttons, it's gonna set a bunch of lights to certain levels and turn some on and turn some off. And you know, it may also do some other integrations. It might start playing something on Sonos, for instance. And to show you how easy it is to make a scene, I'm just gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna tap on add scene here. Name your scene, let's call it test. And I can change the icon. Actually, there's an airplane there. Let's change the name of the scene to vacation. Yeah. Next. And now it's going to ask me to choose what devices I want to affect. So let's say while I'm on vacation, because I won Lotto, I am going to have the entry light be on full blast the entire time I'm on vacation, just as an example. But I'm going to have the kitchen lights set to off, both of them, and the dining lights set to 50%. And everything else I don't want to affect, like they can just stay as they are unaffected. I just want to make sure that the dining lights are at 53%, the main lights are off, and that's pretty much it. So now I hit done. You have added a scene. And I did just get a wee notification up here saying new scene named vacation found by Amazon Alexa. So she's recognized that as well now. So anytime I want to activate it, I can either go into the app or I can just tell Alexa to do it. And so the tab on the right here that I'm gonna to go to now is schedules. This is really cool, I use this all the time. You can have these, you can have any of these lights or blinds or whatever it is, turn on to specific levels at certain times of day and you can add as many of these schedules as you want. So I've got some examples here. My morning, if I click on here, 6.30 a.m., go into devices. So at 6.30 in the morning, the kitchen lights all turn on so that the kitchen's ready for me when I come out of, um, out of the bedroom. My bedroom lights turn on, but they turn on over 30 seconds, so it's not just immediately blasting me with light, it ramps up slowly, kind of like the sun coming up. And the wardrobe lights turn on as well. And if I scroll to the bottom here, you'll also notice I have Sonos Rooms ticked. If I tap on here, you'll see Rooms to Play, Sonos Move, Bedroom, Ensuite, and they all turn on to specific volume levels and play the radio station that I listen to in the morning. You can make schedules for any time of day, for any number of lights, and you can also choose what days of the week they activate. So my regular morning one is just Monday through Friday, and then because I work different hours on Saturday, I have a specific schedule just for Saturday morning. So yeah, really easy to do, really powerful, you can change it at any time. And you can also turn these schedules on and off really easily. You'll see on the right hand side, there is this little slider bar that kind of looks like what you get with Apple. I can just hit that. Now I'm on holiday, it's not gonna wake me up at 6.30 in the morning anymore. So the next thing that you can do with this app that we're gonna talk about is location-based services. There's a couple of really powerful things you can do. If I tap on the settings button up here in the top left, you'll see down here, there is a section called arriving and leaving home. If I tap on here, the two cool things you can do uh, is you can have the certain circuits of lights turn on or off when you arrive home or when you leave home, and that's done entirely through your phone's GPS. That's how it knows where you are. Um, so that can be like, you know, nice to have the driveway lights and the garage lights and that sort of thing all turn on as you're arriving home, ready to go for you. And you can also do something called Smart Away. Smart Away is a security feature, and essentially what it does is it makes it look like someone is living in your house if you're not there. Um, you'll see here that it has a start time and an end time. So Obviously you don't want your lights turning on and off like during the middle of the day when you're not there. So you set a start time and an end time. What this means is if I'm out of the house between 8 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., it is gonna go into smart away mode automatically and start turning on specific light circuits, mainly ones that you can see from the street randomly. And it's gonna make it look like I'm living at home even though I'm not. So this is, again, it's like I said, it's a really cool security feature and it is designed to deter people from snooping around your house when you're out. So the next thing is integrations. Um, you've probably seen me mention already a couple of times that the system does integrate with Sonos audio systems. So I have this one here uh, linked to the Sonos port, which is in my hi-fi system over there. I can just hit play to resume what was last playing. I've got volume control. Turn it back up. 
hit next track. And there is also a favorites button here in the middle. If I hit that, it's gonna cycle through my Sonos favorites. So it's gonna go to a playlist or a radio station. I can hit it as many times as I want and it's gonna go through different stations. So voice control, the system does work with the two main services of voice control that we have here in New Zealand. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. And I can also set the level of them. Alexa, set the kitchen lights to 50%. 50%. And the other cool integration that it does have is integration with ring cameras and doorbells. So I can set a schedule where if the camera detects motion or if I had a doorbell with the button, if someone hits that button, between hours A and B, if it detects motion, it's gonna turn on whatever circuit of light I choose. The other cool thing that Lutron uh, do as well that will integrate with the system is they have a great range of wireless, so battery powered, uh, cellular and fabric blinds as well. So they have keypads to match them, you can have the lights and the blinds all go up and down together. Again, all works from the same app, all works from the voice control services and the sensors, but yeah, they're really nice, really quiet as well. It's kind of one thing that Lutron is famous for is having quiet blinds. Not only that, their motors are digital as well, which means you can get the blinds to stop at exactly what percentage you want. For instance, if the sun is going down and it is coming through the window and hitting you right in the eyes, maybe you want the blinds to go down to halfway where you've got a million in your window, but not go all the way down. You can hit a button and they'll go down to that exact percentage perfectly every time. And because they're digital and communicating with each other, they'll all go down perfectly in sync every time as well. You won't you wind up with blinds that are slightly out of sync with one another. And that is pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions about the RA2 Select system, put them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. You can also call us up on our phone number and we will you know, talk to you about potentially putting it into your home. We can come out and do a scope and go from there. Again, thanks for watching. My name is James. Kakatianoa.